friends welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a shop with me for fall decor and we're gonna style it but I am so excited for the fall season it's my favorite season of the year the colors look good on me the Christmas in the air everything apple cider I'll say it I love pumpkin spice but I think apple cider wins the flavor test I know it's controversial I get it but with fall being my favorite season of the year, I love to decorate for it. And I love to just like add in some cozy elements to my home. So we're gonna go shopping today and see what we can find out in the stores. And then we're gonna come home and style everything and kind of freshen up the space for the new season. Of all. Here are the pumpkins and the spice. That's cute too. So, number one thing to do is change out your scents for the holiday seasons. I know I won't like this pumpkin butter. Let's see if they have some more. Look at how cute these little pumpkin candles are. Mm, that one smells good. Pumpkin spice. Warm cinnamon and cider. Kind of an apple girl. Mmm, that smells really good. I've got a little brown thing called pumpkin bits. That one smells very masculine. Look at these pillows. All the fall vibes. I love those big chunky ones, but the problem is they're not covers, so I can't take them off and wash them. And with a dog, that's imperative. I like these dried florals. This is beautiful. Oh, look at the turkey plate. We don't host Thanksgiving though, so we don't need that. Oh my gosh, I love these with the little leather. I wish they had that. Leather. Mold pumpkin spot, plum cider. Oh, they do. Look, right there it is. Target was okay. I mean, I found a couple of things. I got some measuring cups that I've been eyeing for over a year. So if I still like them after a year, I guess I should just bite the bullet and buy them, right? Cause all we have is plastic. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I was kind of, there are some cute dried florals and stuff at Target, but honestly, like, I feel like Hobby Lobby always has better ones. So. We're gonna, I was kind of holding out. So we're gonna go look at Hobby Lobby and then I'm gonna hit up Tuesday morning and maybe Michael's, but Target had a lot of stuff that I already have. So I'm not just gonna replace what I already have. Like I've got, you know, a wreath for the door. I've got, you know, little ceramic pumpkins. I did buy a candle. We'll do a little haul when I get home of what I got. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll style it in the house and decorate for fall. But, um, I already have some hand towels and things like that. And I'm, I'm not big on like replacing like pillows and all of that kind of stuff. Like I just don't have the storage for it. So I just don't do it. 
So anyway, we'll see what we can see. I just want to get a couple more little things, um, but I don't really need pumpkins. So well, I need like real pumpkins, but it's also September. So I feel like in Atlanta, they would rot in the heat because it's still hot. But uh, yeah, so on to the next store. That's adorable. See, I love these, but I have nowhere to store them. All right, y'all tell me, are you still here for the black and white buffalo check or are you over it? Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of over it. Ooh, and I'm hitting this just right. Look, y'all, 50% off. Here for it. Look at this one. It's beautiful. Oh, and these amber jars. See, I would keep these out all year long. It's pretty. Oh, bus. Like that bigger one. Look at all these pumpkins. Ooh, I love these leather pumpkins. How fun is that? And these little white velvet ones. They're really cute too. I wish this had a different stem color, like a brown stem color. I think I'd like it better. Okay, I always like to put out a new fall flag, but they're kind of hard to find. Welcome to the nut house. I mean, that's probably pretty accurate. It's the same one. Welcome friends, that's pretty. I don't like that one the best. So it'll only be five bucks. Sneak pink. Picked up some pumpkin. And there's already Christmas. I'm not there yet, y'all. Like, I can't get behind Christmas in September. I know Hobby Lobby's known for it, but like, sheesh, so early. Let's go check out the dried florals. These are too orange, but I like that style. I kind of like these guys. It's very fall-esque. I didn't like those too. Maybe a little Halloween y, which I'm here for Halloween. I just don't want to decorate for both. Okay, guys, I think that was a pretty fruitful shopping trip. I found a few things that I was looking for, a few things that I wasn't, that I think will still look really great. So let's do a little mini haul. So the first thing I got was these dried florals from Hobby Lobby. So I really loved the amber color paired with the deep maroon. You know, I have those colors kind of around my house. And I think it's kind of the unexpected fall colors. You know, typically we go for the oranges and the browns and the bright red. And I just think this muted palette is kind of diving into more of that like really dark moodiness. So. Um, and I love bringing in dried florals, you know, obviously I'd love to have a new bouquet every single week But this is a good way to bring something in that's fall without having to buy new flowers every single week So I got those um, I also got some things that I've been eyeing from Target for a very long time So, you know back in school I always had the plastic measuring spoons and I have been eyeing these black metal ones from hearth and hand for so long um for probably over a year and i figure if i'm still obsessing about them and i still like them after a year then it's time to bite the bullet and buy them so they're really cute they have this like little you know um 
leather detail and then they have all the measuring spoons they're also dishwasher safe i believe i hope they're dishwasher safe i'm gonna put them in the dishwasher and we'll see i don't buy anything that's not dishwasher safe i hate to hand wash every single thing and as much as we use measuring spoons and and um cups that we we need to be able to throw them in the wash so anyway i've been eyeing these so i finally picked those up um so I also got some hand soap. Um, Ian loves the foaming. I love the Mrs. Myers scents, but they don't come in a foaming hand soap. So I opted for this one in Waterfall. It's a fan favorite. Um, also, I got some deep moisturizing body wash. So especially with the seasons changing, I find my skin dries out a little bit. So this is a great one. This is kind of compared to Dove and it's like half the price. So if you're looking for a good body wash that's like easy on the wallet and really works, this Up and Up brand is a fan fave too. Um, then I got this beautiful candle. So it's got that detailed stitching on the back and a faux leather. This one is in apple chai and it smells so good guys. And this reminds me of those hurricanes I saw in, um, was it West Elm or Pottery Barn in our Shop With Me video? I posted a couple couple weeks back. So anyway, it just reminded me of that, which I really loved that little detail. But this chai, apple chai scent smells so good. Like I wish you guys could smell it. I can't wait to burn that. So that's what I got from Target. Um, and then got a couple more things from Hobby Lobby. So I always love to put out the little garden flags and I found this really cute one. Everything at Hobby Lobby was 50% off, which was really great. So I hit it perfect. So I found this cute little garden flag with the pumpkins and it's still got the blues and greens that I love. And it just says, welcome friends. So, you know, I feel like you can put this out for all seasons, which is really nice. And then I found a couple of pumpkins. Now I have some things that not go crazy because I have a lot of things that I like to use. And I definitely am the type of person that uses what they have and just adds to their stash. So I got this beautiful, um, almost like bronze colored ceramic pumpkin. And I thought it would pair very nicely to this velvet pumpkin that I got too. So you can kind of see there. And then my fan favorite, y'all know how I feel about leather. I love a good leather piece. I found this really cute leather pumpkin so i thought these three would pair nicely together um i have a lot of pumpkins but these were just too cute and i really love the mix of tones and materials and sheens you know you've got like the slick leather and you've got the metallic and you've got the velvet so like really bringing in that textural so elements so this guy originally was 22 so i got it for 11 bucks um, this one was five, so two fifty, and then this guy had been seven, so three fifty, and then the dried florals had been twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. So I got them for half price off that, and then um, this flag was only five bucks. So um, all in all, I think a pretty good haul considering. So let me go get my other stuff and let's start decorating the house for the season. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I love this. I just need the weather to match my vibes and like get on point with like, you know, fall. Cause 80 degrees, while well, it's lovely and nice, I need like a crisp 65 so I can wear a cute jacket. But anyway, it'll get there. I'm not going to wish the season away. I'll enjoy the cooler weather as it comes. So Anyway, let's get started on styling these items. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take these generic flowers out and replace them with our new dried florals. So these aren't quite as full as I had hoped they would be. I think it's because I've got them too far down in there. And then, you know, I keep my white candlesticks here. Whoops. I keep my white candlesticks here. They bring in some of that brass. You know, I found these really beautiful spiraled 
candles and they just look really lovely on the dining table. So I actually got these at Dollar Tree, believe it or not, for a dollar a piece, like a long time ago. But they add just a little touch of fall where you need it. So I like to add those sporadically around the space. But we're still keeping to our rule of five, right? So we've got a crowd kind of in a little bit in a tray. We've got our tall vase, we've got our candlesticks, and then we've got our two little pumpkins. So it's still an odd number. And you know, we're mixing the textures, the colors, the sheens, all of it, which creates a nice little vignette. change out my hand towels for the season. It's a very simple thing that does not add a lot of money or time to change it out, but it does add a big impact to make it feel more seasonal. I normally get them from either the Target Dollar Spot or from TJ Maxx or HomeGoods. I'm gonna swap out my summer scent of Volcano Blue, which I love so much with this, with this chai, apple or cider chai candle. front door. So this one I thought I could put on our carport door and then also I got this sign. Now I've had all of this for a very long time so I got this at a place that I used to work. So um, I think most of the, I think these two items you can actually get at your local Walmart this year. Let me see. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to get these this season in, at Walmart. So check them out. Um, I'm going to hang these a little bit later, but I hope that you enjoyed, you know, shopping with me for fall decor and, you know, seeing that little touches can make a big difference in your space. Obviously, there are people that go above and beyond and, you know, change out everything, but I really like the way my home looks and I just want it to be festive for the season. Not necessarily like, you know, completely redo my home decor. And if you are like that, kudos. I would love to be able to do that, but I just don't have the space to store all those items. So I personally like to do little touches here and there, 
you know, I like to bring in items that make sense for my space and also like make it feel warm and cozy. I do think the scents that you use in your candles and wax warmers it can transform the season of your home. Smell is such a very vital sense of ours. It takes us to different places and times and seasons of our lives. So don't forget about that. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people miss out about. It doesn't translate in a video. Like I wish you could smell my home right now with all of the amazing like warm apple cider scent. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys coming along this journey. You know, tell me, what is your favorite thing of fall? What are you looking forward to? Are you going apple picking? You know, do you guys go on hay rides? Like, is Halloween your thing? Like, listen, I love Halloween. I just, again, I don't have the storage to go all out for, for Halloween and store everything. So another thing that we do is we change out Delilah's collar for the season. It's silly, but it makes me happy. So anyway, tell me what in the comments below. What is your favorite thing? What are you looking most forward to this season? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Come back every Saturday for a new video Saturday morning. Grab a cup of coffee and come along with me as we design our homes. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!